Oh, I've never heard that kind of noise coming from my blinds from an aeroplane before. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. It is a Chanel haul. And I bought these Chanel items on sale. Yes, Chanel does do sales. Before I dive into this video, if you aren't already subscribed and you do love luxury videos, then I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button below and also the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos, which is every Wednesday and every weekend at uh, US time. So if you didn't know, Chanel actually does sales twice a year. So they do a sale at around about this time of year, June, July. Um, and then they do a sale at the very end of the year, I believe after Christmas. So December, January, they have sales again. So these items I picked up in the most recent sales. These, yeah, these items I picked up in the most recent sales. I actually had both of these items shipped to me. Um, Chanel is doing like phone service. Um, you can contact the sales associate by like text messaging and pay um, by bank transfer. Let's open it up quickly before I talk too much. But yeah, unfortunately it didn't come with a shopping bag, but at least they shipped it out to me and there was no charge for the shipping, which is great because I just don't feel comfortable going into um, Sydney City to go and do shopping, especially still, you know, we are in the pandemic. I have a newborn at home. I have a toddler. I just felt like it would be irresponsible for me to go and do luxury shopping. It is starting to get much better. Look, in New South Wales in particular, we have very minimal cases. So look, I may very well go luxury shopping soon enough. Uh, of course, it comes with uh, the dust bags. It comes with two dust bags, like usual, with shoes. And Still packaged up nicely inside, which is very important, of course. It comes with spare laces, so this might give away the color. And I bought, these are from, I'm not sure what collection they're from. I think that most of the stuff that's on sale is from um, maybe leftover stuff from Cruise 2019, the La Porza collection maybe or something. Look, they are obviously from previous sales and not current, like it's not going to be spring, summer or anything like that. And they're not even the previous full winter items. I think that these are all from the uh, 2019 collection that have been left over. And I picked out, you're probably just ready to see while I was talking, uh, sneakers in like a fuchsia magenta kind of color. And I chose these because I thought that they probably would go with my Rose Azalee Constance. And they do, but I'm thinking I need to change the laces out. I think that I need to put white laces. Here is the Rose Azalee Constance and here are the shoes. So the actual pink in the actual um, mesh does go with it, I feel like. But it's just that magenta lace. I think that the magenta is too much. It's, it's like purple and pink. It's quite an obvious different tone. It's not pink, it's purple. Sneakers are made from like a mesh. Now, so they're slightly sort of transparent. You can kind of, when you wear them, you can sort of see your toes. So I would be wearing these with like sockets, like nude colored sockets. They've got really nice soles. Um, comfortable cushion sort of soles, a little bit of height as well with the sneaker too, which is advantageous when you're short. Um, yeah, I'm really quite happy with them. I just think that they need to have white laces. So that's why when I received them, I was kind of like, oh, maybe these aren't going to go with the bag. I took these in my true size, which is a size 36, and they fit just fine. Um, they also noticed that they have, um, it says Chanel, like in the base of the sneakers, just here and here. There's no logo on the inside, but it's on the outside. So when you wear them like this, you will see that Chanel logo on the outside. Now, I don't know the original price of these. Chanel sneakers are always at least $1,000, always. I think that they might have been maybe about $1,100 or $1,200 Australian normally, but these were obviously on sale and I picked them up for $804 Australian dollars. Obviously still not cheap, but better than paying, you know, that $1,200 price point for sneakers. So inside is the other item I picked up on sale. And um, the sales associate that I dealt with to buy this, she is absolutely fabulous. Um, look, that's not to say, that's not to discredit, you know, my sales associate that's in Sydney. She is great as well. She is fabulous as well. It's just that Sydney is a totally different dynamic. It is so busy in Sydney. We're a very dense population. Um, there's a lot of people that um, luxury shop in Sydney. So I don't think that that's my sales associate's fault that's based in Sydney. It's just the demand is crazy here. But um, my sales associate that is outside of Sydney that I deal with, she is 
fabulous. I'm so happy that I have her because, um, yeah, the stock doesn't move as fast, so I can at least get my hands on some items that are usually reserved for VIPs in Sydney. I do um, have the pricing here from what they were originally. These were $1,150 before, so again, they are shoes. Again, two dust bags, like usual. These were $690 down from 1,150. So that means that they are pretty much, they're like, yeah, 40% 40, 40 off. Yeah, 40% off. So these are not everyone's cup of tea and you're probably gonna go, what? They are sandals and they are ugly sandals. Let me get them both out. Okay, so here they are. Now, when I asked um, on the luxury Facebook groups in Australia, I was asking, does anyone have these sandals? I want to see some mod shots of them because I couldn't find them. Um, and I got some comments saying they look like their ice cream cake, um, that they're wafer biscuits. And you know what? And I agree. They do kind of look like they are ice cream, wafers, you know, that kind of thing. They give you that kind of vibe, but I love them. I love like chunky sort of sandals where they give me height and I love like that ugly kind of looking sandal. I just love like chunky shoes. So they have Velcro on the top but it isn't functional because it's just a set size anyway but they do fit really well on my feet. These are in size 36. My actual true size is 36. I probably could have gone down to a 35 or 35.5. If I got a 35 it just would have been that my feet would have been end to end. If I got a 35.5 it probably would have been the most ideal size. So with a 36 they are a little bit like big where they do have a bit of excess However, because of the design of these shoes, my feet aren't sliding really far forward, so they're, that's the main thing. I do like how they look. They are not for everyone. There's no doubt about it. You're probably not totally happy with these for most people. I think um, uh, you have to have selective taste when it comes to these kind of ugly sandals. I think that most people are going to like these sneakers versus these uh, chunky sandals, but for me, I probably like these more than the sneakers. But I do love sneakers. I'm a massive sneaker fan. It's just that I have um, other Chanel sneakers that I recently picked up that I prefer more than these. Overall, I am very, very happy with my Chanel sale purchases. There were some other items that I wanted. So, for example, there was actually a really nice Chanel cardigan that had the Deauville um, Venice print at the back. Kind of like how my um, jacket does that I'm wearing now. It had that sort of print. Um, I'll put a picture up on the screen. It was obviously in a different colorway, but the difference with that one is that it just was um, beige and like a pinky coral color. It had Chanel buttons going down the jacket, but I didn't have any of like these logos on it like this had. It didn't have the word Chanel on it or anything like that. So I kind of was like, oh, I don't really know. For that price point, it was $3,360. And I believe it was originally uh, $5,600. So it was a very good discount from $5,600 down to $3,360. That's what tempted me to almost buy that cardigan. But I decided, look, you know what? I have found better deals um, in the pre-loved market, as you guys know, when it comes to ready to wear, that I have far, been far much more happy with and I paid less for them. So I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna buy that jacket. And then I decided to have a look at Vestia Collective and I actually found that exact same jacket for far less of Vestia Collective. So if I wanted it, I could just go and buy it on Vestia Collective. Like, pre-loved, obviously, not brand new, but it's not that old of a collection, so the jacket wouldn't have even been that worn in. The condition looked really good on Vestia Collective, so I'd rather just pay much less for it on Vestia Collective. I'm gonna link that down below as well if you do happen to be interested in this in this cardigan, if that cardigan's still available on Vestia Collective. Um, there was also another item that I liked as well, and it was like a V-neck sweater, but um, I thought it was a V-neck sweater, but it actually has these armholes where you put your arms through and then you tie the arms like underneath around your waist. So I wasn't 100% sure that that's sort of my kind of vibe if I would like that. So it is definitely advantageous when it comes to the sale period. Have a, have a Chanel sales associate. It is so fantastic if you have an associate because then at least then you can actually deal with someone with the sales stock, you know. Uh, they do open to the public, of course, anyway. So um, when it's open to the public, anyone can go in. But at least then um, if you aren't able to go into the boutique, you can kind of talk to someone. However, there is uh, two boutiques in Sydney and the Sydney Westfield one is fantastic. That's where I deal with. They are so fantastic. Um, whereas the Chanel Castle Ray boutique that we have, they're good too, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, with the sales stock, they weren't willing to allow me to pay to get it shipped to me, even though my circumstances was I have a newborn and a kid, like, and it's a pandemic, but I wasn't able to get them to ship anything to me, unfortunately. So that sweater, 
is um, $2,706. I don't know what it was originally, but still a, you know, a good price for Chanel because it was on sale, but I just wasn't sure that that was really gonna work for me and I didn't want to spend that kind of money. Yet again, going back to the fact that I have found some really great deals um, on Vestia Collective and Rakuten and, and all those sort of places. So I'd rather just keep my money for those kind of purchases I was more sure about. I know that even I'm kind of eating my words a bit because the shoes, I'm not 100% sure I'm, you know, get they, that are going to work for me, these ones in particular, but $804 is a very big difference to $2,700 to $3,300, big difference. So I knew that even with this, it's a, a better choice to at least buy the one that you're like, okay, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to give it a go. Whereas spending over two and a half grand on something you're not really sure of isn't the most ideal thing to do, even though it's on sale. So don't get too tempted by these sales. If you're not 100% sure about it, just don't don't buy it. Um, with the shoes, I'm gonna say that, yeah, you could do like me and just give it a go. <laughs> All right, um, there was another item that I did like as well, because I wanted to run you through some of the sale items that they did have, just in case they're still for sale now. There was a fantastic dress that I remember was from the La Porza collection. And unfortunately, it was too long on me. I I had uh, my sales associate um, that was in the other boutique that's not in Sydney. I had her measure it for me. And um, unfortunately, it was too long. The dress that I really liked was 2,394. And it was previously 3,990. So I love this dress. It was great. And they said that they could even take it up for me. Even if I wasn't able to get into the boutique, they could adjust it to my measurements. But then I would lose that really nice trimming that's at the bottom of that dress. And I don't really like to alter um, ready to wear just in case you decide to sell it. It makes it less, it definitely, it, it already brings down the, like it brings down the price and resale on ready to wear is already, um, doesn't hold value anyway, regardlessly. So I decided, you know what, it's not meant for me. They also had some other items, like they had um, a tweed dress that used to be 6,640 down to 3,900. Um, they had tweed jackets that were down from 8,000 to 4,800. Um, skirts down from 4,000 to 2,400. Um, yeah, there, there was some fairly pretty good deals when it comes to Chanel. They also had um, accessories on sale, like necklaces, earrings, bracelets, brooches. Um, they had lots of scarves. There was a lot of scarves on sale. Those are some of the Chanel sale items that they had. And I think that this is a fantastic opportunity to go and buy Chanel items when they do these sales in June and in very late December, early January. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.